Hello everyone, today we will introduce our monitoring platform, Solenteg Cloud. We will make some brief introduction to the functions and settings of the monitoring, which will hopefully help you better use our monitoring platform. We will make more detailed introduction videos for each individual function later. So, please follow us for more information. Okay, without further ado. Let me introduce our monitoring platform. Currently we have three monitoring platform tools. Solinka Cloud, Solenteg App, and Solenteg Set App. Solenteg Cloud is Solenteg's self-developed official monitoring platform for end users and distributors to monitor and manage their devices and plants. It has a wealth of features, such as 24-hour load monitoring, devices and plants management, remote configuration and upgrading, organization management, alarms information, and so on. Solenteg app is the portable version of the Sointeg cloud, allowing people to install it on their phones to monitor and manage their devices and plants anytime, anywhere. Solenteg set app is a portable app for quick configuration of Solenteg hybrid inverters, which allows you to set a series of parameters including safety code, battery brand, and work mode when you stand nearby the inverter without network. So, what's the difference between Solenteg app and Solenteg set app? Solenteg set app is more like a quick configuration tool of hybrid inverter for the first configuration, while Solenteg app is for daily use and monitoring. There is not much difference between Solenteg cloud and Solenteg app in function and operation, except that one is the web version and the other is the mobile version. So, we will mainly introduce our monitoring platform through Solenteg cloud. Our monitoring platform has four main functions. The first one is data monitoring, through which you can monitor your plant's data in real time 24 hours a day, including PV status, battery status, load power consumption. The second one is management. Through the platform, you can easily manage all your subordinate plants and devices, configure their parameters, settings, and remote upgrades. The third one is the alarm. Our platform can detect if your device is malfunctioning and report the malfunction information to you in time. The last one is the firmware upgrade. Customers or distributors can remotely upgrade firmware online. Well, let's start the practical demonstration of Solenteg Cloud. The URL of our monitoring platform is www.solentegcloud.com. Now, eight languages are available on our website. You can select the appropriate language and region. Next we will do a demonstration using a demo account. We can see that the monitoring platform has five parts. Overview, Plants, Management, Alarm and Firmware Upgrade. On the overview page, we can see a lot of data and charts. The first is a general overview area. This shows the current generation of all power plants under your account, including efficiency, power, today's generation, total capacity, and total generation. It updates once a minute. Below is a showcase of your power station's contribution to the environment. On the right side is the status indication area for all plants and devices, so that you can check whether your plants and devices are working fine in time. At the bottom are two charts. One is to show the total power generation and revenue. The other is a rank display of the plant's power generation efficiency which can display up to seven power stations simultaneously. Okay, let's see the plants page. On this page, you can see all the plants under your account. If you want to see more detailed information, click on the name of the plant. Firstly, we can see an overview of the plant. At the top is the statistics of generation, which are daily, monthly, annual, and total. On the left side is a real-time simulation of energy flow, which updates once a minute. Right is a basic information display of the plant, including plant name, location, weather, capacity, and some relative things. Next are two charts, the left one is a line chart, which can show the variation of PV power, load power, battery power, grid power and SOC in a period. The right one is a pie chart to show the power production and consumption ratio of this plant. Well, let's see the plant device list. Here you can see all the devices of this plant. Also, you can add a new device for the plant. 
Behind each device, there are two buttons, one is for changing the name of the device, the other is for setting parameters. You could set all parameters of this device here. The plant basic info page shows the detailed information of installation, location and revenue setting. Also, you can edit them on this page. Next, let's take a look at the management part. It has three parts, plant management, device management, and organization management. At the plant management page and device management page, you can manage all your subplants, devices, or add the new ones. On the organization management page, you can view your account organization information or create a subordinate account. Now, let's take a look at the alarm page. You can see all the alarm information of your subordinate plants on this page if there is any problem detected. On the detail page you can see more useful information, including the causes of the failure and some suggestions on how to deal with it. Also, you can choose the class or way of alarm messages pushed in the system settings, which ensures that you receive important information in a timely manner and are not disturbed by invalid messages. Finally, let's take a look at the firmware upgrade page. Here we can see the history and status of the upgrade. Click on the Add button where you can see if a new firmware version is available and select the appropriate device for remote upgrade. This is our monitoring platform and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.